If you're ready for warmer weather, you're definitely not alone. I know I'm with you. And if you're dreaming of sunny days, why not head to the Orchid Show happening at Meyer Gardens? Here with me is Eve and Gordon to talk about the event. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. So tell us about the Orchid Show to begin with, what people can come and see. Yeah, absolutely. The Orchid Show is taking place on January 25th and 26th. We will have free talks going on each day, ranging from Orchids 101 to even how to grow orchids hydroponically. We'll have displays. I know. What is that? <laughs> do you want to talk a little <laughs> bit about that? You can actually do that with a basin of water and then a pump that pumps the water up to the uh, to the next uh, level. Interesting. And orchids, your uh, it uh, takes care of your orchids year uh, day around. Interesting. Okay, you interrupted you. I had to know what that was. Tell us yes. about what else the show involves. <laughs> um, there will be displays that you will be able to see from our vendors, okay. Orchid Grand Valley Orchid Society members, and also exhibitors and sales as well throughout okay. the weekend. Okay, and Gordon, you brought some beautiful plants here for us. Can mm -hmm. you explain the different types that we see? Well, I wanted to show you something different than what you see in the usual stores. These are unusual. The mm -hmm. stores. Very unique. And these will be available. Uh, some of them will be in bloom and some of them won't be available. But you'll see all kinds and all of the different displays that societies have uh, developed. And uh, huh. each vendor also has a display. But this, this happens to be a Pathiopetalum, um, sometimes known as the Cypripedium or Lady Slipper Orchid. Hmm. This one probably comes from Southeast Asia, anywhere from India. Uh, Malaysia, South China. Most of these have been hybridized to the point where you can actually grow them in a home under lights mm -hmm. or uh, by a sunny window. Uh, they also will burn if they get too too much sunlight. They're a little bit more on the delicate side, but they are yeah. beautiful flowers, Gordon yeah. and Eve. Thank you both so much for joining us. It is free to go and check it out, and you can buy a plant of your own there. We have more information on our website and right there okay. on your screen. That's at 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.